With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so question says that correct order of magnetic moment right? and that is spin only, right? So we have to arrange the correct order of magnetic moment that is spin only for the following complex, right? So we have the complex, right? So this is a complex of palladium, complex of nickel and this is again nickel and this is again nickel, right? So we have three complex of nickel and one complex of palladium, right? So let's start solving this question, right? So we have a four complex, right? And we have to calculate the magnetic moment, right? So as we know that magnetic moment is denoted by mu, right? And its formula is under root n into n plus 2, n into n plus 2, right? So this is the formula for calculating the spin only magnetic moment, right? So this is the formula for calculating the spin only magnetic moment, where n is equals to number of unpaired electrons, right? So where n is equals to number of unpaired electrons, right? So this is number of unpaired electron right so this is number of unpaired electron right so now we have a four complex the complex a is the complex a is pd ps3 right so this is a complex of palladium right so pd pps3 that is phenyl right so pps3 hold twice there are two ligands and the two ligand is chlorine right there are, there are total four ligand right so as we know that this complex is a square planar complex right because as we move down the group, the Z effective increase, right? So this is a group of like this, right? So this, this group belongs to like nickel, palladium, palladium, right? So this is 3D series, this is 4D series, and this belongs to 5D series, right? So as we move down the group, the effective nuclear charge increases, and due to this, the tendency to form the square cone complex, tendency to form the uh, square planar complex also increases, right? So here this complex is a square planar complex. Here again, the chlorine in this in this complex chlorine is also acting as a strong field ligand, right? So here the palladium is acting as a PD2 positive, right? So palladium has a plus two oxidation state, right? So I can say this palladium has a plus two oxidation state, right? So palladium has a plus two oxidation state. That means its electronic configuration is 4d8, right? So its electronic configuration is 4d8, right? So now we have to calculate its magnetic moment, right? So since it is a square planar complex, right? So since it is a square planar, right? Since it is a square planar complex, right? So we have to use or you can say that we have to fill the electron in the square planar diagram, right? So this is the square planar diagram, right? So these are the dxy, right? So this is not dxy, this is dyz, dxz, right? So I can say this, whatever you write. So this is dxz and dyz, right? And this is orbital dz square, right? And this is dxy, right? And this is dx square minus y square, right? So this is the diagram of square plane, right? So the difference between dxy and dx minus y square is del, del sp, right? So this is del sp, square plane, right? So as we know that in the square plane complex, all ligands are strong field ligand, right? So if I fill the electron, that means we have to fill the eight electron, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So as you can see this, in this, all the electrons are paired. That means there is no unpaired electron. That means we have a value of n is equal to 0. That comes, I can say this, for this, the value of mu, value of mu comes out to be 0, right? So the value of mu comes out to be 0. That means for this complex, right? So for this complex, the magnetic moment, magnetic moment comes out to be 0, right? So magnetic moment comes out to be 0. Now, move to the next complex that is NiCO4 right so now move to the next complex that is NiCO4 right so this complex is NiCO4 if I talk about the complex second that is be NiCO4 right so it is the complex of nickel that is the tetracarbonyl nickel right so here you can see the nickel is in zero oxidation state right so here nickel is in zero oxidation state since carbon is a neutral ligand right so since the carbon is a neutral ligand and is a strong field ligand right so because it is a pi acceptor ligand right so here Nickel is in zero oxidation state. That means its electronic configuration will be 3d8 because it belongs to 3d series 3d8 4s2, right? So 3d8 4s2, right? So this complex has a hybridization of sp3 because you can see here, right? So this is the complex, right? So I can say this. This is our 1, 2, 3, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? So this is our 3d orbital, right? So this is our 3d orbital, and this is our 4s orbital, and this is our 4p orbital, right? 
and this is our d orbital right it's 4d 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 right this is 4d 4p right now you can see here there is a electron is 3d 8 4s2 right so if i fill it electrons are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right and the another two electron is in the in this orbital right so in this s orbital right so since we know that's carbon is a strong field ligand right so strong field ligand due to its pi acceptor tendency right so it makes the pairing of these two electrons right and these two pair comes in this orbital right so here the orbital becomes like this right so the orbital becomes like this right you can see here the orbital becomes like this right so this becomes like this right one two three four right so here and this orbital becomes vacant right so here this is also our d orbital right so one two three four right so this is our orbital 3d this is 4s this is 4p and this is 4d right so now these electrons come here and this come here right so one two so because strong field again because of strong field it makes pairing right so one two three four five six seven eight right and nine ten right so because there are total ten electrons right so eight Two, right so there are total 10 electrons now we have a four ligand that means the ligand will use one s orbital right so the ligand will use one s orbital and this 3p orbital right so this 3p orbital right that means the hybridization becomes sp3 right so the hybridization becomes sp3 that means here you can see this all the electrons are paired that means the there is no unpaired electrons so i can say that for the this complex the value of mu comes out to be zero right so for this complex the value of mu comes out to be zero right so since this complex is a tetrahedral right so this complex is tetrahedral and uh, also diamagnetic and having zero dipole moment right so now move to the complex third that is complex nicn42 negative right so nicn42 negative right here this complex is nicn4 right so this is also a complex of nickel since we know that cyanide is also strong field ligand right cyanide is also strong field ligand right so nicn4 that means here nickel is in plus 2 oxygen state right so nickel is in plus 2 oxygen state that means here is a strong field again right so here it makes a square planar complex right it makes a square planar complex that means its electronic configuration is 3d8 right so its electronic configuration is 3d8 right so as we have draw the diagram of a uh, square planar complex that is this these are the orbital of dxz right so these are the orbital dxz dyz this is the orbital of dz square right and this is the orbital of dxy right so this is the orbital of dxy right and this is the orbital of dx square minus y square right so if i fill the electrons so if i fill the electrons like this so it electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so as you can see this all the electrons are paired that means there is number of electrons there is no number of unpaired electrons right so i can say this the value of n value of mu comes out to be here zero right so here the value of mu comes out to be zero right so now move to the fourth complex that is NiH2O6 right so this again a complex of this is again a complex of nickel right so this is again a complex of nickel right so this is again a complex of nickel that is NiH2O6 NiH2O6 2 positive right so NiH2O6 2 positive right so this is a complex of nickel right so actually you can see this here this is an octahedral complex right so because there are six coordination number right so here nickel is in plus 2 oxidation state right so nickel is in plus 2 oxidation state that means its electronic configuration is 3d8 right so electronic configuration is 3d8 right and as we know that this water ligand right so this water is weak field ligand right so this water is a weak field ligand because nickel is in plus 2 oxygen state right so here you can see that octahedral the splitting will be like this right so this is t2g right so this orbital will be t2g and this orbital will be eg right so this orbital will be eg right so the if the filling should be like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so as you can see here there are two unpaired electrons right so there are two unpaired electrons in the eg orbital right so if i calculate the magnetic moment that is spin only magnetic moment the value becomes 2 into 2 plus 2 right so it it comes out to be root 8 right so it comes out to be root 8 right so this is the value of this complex or right? the magnetic moment that means this complex has a magnetic moment right so this complex has a magnetic moment right so the above three compound has a magnetic moment value equals to 0 right that means that means if i assign it so i can say this if I, I can say this i have a complex that is i have a complex that is pd i have a complex that is pd pps3 that is pd pps3 right so i can say this this is pp ps3 right 
these are two complex that is cl2 right so this complex also has a mu is equals to 0 right and again the complex that is ni co4 this complex also mu equals to 0 right and again ni cn4 right two negative right this complex also has a mu equals to 0 because all the all these these two compounds are square planar and this is tetrahedral right and all these all these three complexes have a mu equals to 0 and the complex ni h2o6 right so this is an octahedral complex right so here this complex has a mu is equals to under root 8 right so this is mu is equal to under root 8 right so if i assign it so this is let's say this is complex a this is complex b this is complex c right so this is complex c and this is complex d so you can see this the magnetic moment of these compounds are equal that means the value of a b and c equals and right so on or this value is less than this root 8 value that means the value of d will be larger right so this will be our answer right so this will be our answer right so let's check the option let's check the option right so if i check the option so we are getting here we are getting here in the option a right so here you can see that in the option a right so this let's say this is option a so in the option a all three a b and c are equal right so because the magnetic moment value equals to zero comes out to be zero right here and this value is very greater than the, its value comes out to be root 8 right so this seems to be the right answer right so this seems to be the right answer if i talk about the option b here the all values are increasing order right so this cannot be right answer because we have obtained the three value which is equals to zero right so and we have option c here this is all decreasing order and option d here one two values are equal right so here you can see clearly here that the value b and c become cannot be the right answer and here we are getting the three value which is equal to zero but here is there two value right so this cannot also be the answer so now we are left with the correct answer that is option a in which a b and c complexes have a magnetic moment value equal to zero and d complex have a magnetic moment value is equal to root 8 right so hope this answered your question so thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today